Hi, Joe here. In this video, I'm going to be showing you how you can use Akoya based on the latest update. But before we dive in, always make sure you have all your integrations and social media profiles set up. So this profile in particular, Invest Magnet, is an investment consulting business. We have our Facebook, we have our Instagram, we have our Twitter and LinkedIn all connected onto the workspace. If we go to posts on the left hand side, here you'll see all your previous posts that you've created. But let's start creating a new one. So just hit this big button here. And now you'll be presented with a simple caption editor. So the first step is going to be creating the caption. And you'll see this little icon here called Caption Manager where we can start generating caption ideas. So let's click it. Here you'll see our Travis AI content copy marketing engine. It supports 26 languages. So if you do want to produce output in, in, in different languages or indeed provide the input with different languages, that is an option. But let's just try English for now. So if you just give it a, a simple prompt, for example, and hit generate. You'll be presented with various different options. Here you can see whether it's appropriate for Twitter, the uniqueness rating. We also have a few other options, so quotes, which are really easy to use if you just wanted to, to put a quote on your social media. Announcements, this is more for e-commerce, but we could just say t-shirt for $60, for example. And here you go, here are a few options for you. We also have on this day, so this is a new feature where you can see lots of different events that were on uh, today, on, on June the 11th. And finally, hashtags, um, which which we uh, we can generate here. And these are both relevant and trending to, to this caption at this moment in time. And your favorites are those, um, obviously, that you, you've favorited uh, in the past. But if we go back to Travis AI and use one of these, um, one of these few, few captions, let's use this one. Here you'll see the caption presented. Now the next step is to use, um, is, is, is to generate some hashtags. So we've added this little button, and if you just click it, called quick hashtags, it will produce hashtags again that are both relevant and trending to this caption, but really easy to use. Here you can see the different caption limits. Obviously, Twitter is the main one. So let's get rid of a hashtag so that'll that'll work on Twitter. The next step is to generate the graphic, the content for um, for the post. So this is like on here called the Graphics Manager. If we just click on that, we'll be presented with many different options um, to produce content. We have our template engine, and we also support Canva. We have stock images um, with these three providers. We have GIFs powered by Giphy. You can upload content, and we also have Cloud currently supporting uh, Dropbox. So if we go back to templates, let's create um, maybe an Instagram template. If we, um, or we could even search. So. You just search for investment. You'll see various different options. Um, this one looks pretty cool. You just click on that, edit. This will open the editor. We can edit the text. You'll see different options up here. So for example, resize, we can resize to um, different types of posts, different ads, different dimensions. We also have various different options on the left hand side um, that you can play with in your own time. Um, and also brand kits where you have logos and fonts and colors. And my files where you can upload things. But let's just let's just stick to this um, this image for now. If we just hit export in the top right. You'll see the image appear below here, which you can edit or delete. Okoya now supports carousels, so you can post multiple graphics on the same post to all your social media platforms. So let's go back to the graphics manager. Maybe we'll try a stock image this time. Let's search for one. 
and let's use this one in the top left. Cool, so now we have our caption, we have our hashtags, we have our two graphics. We can preview what's that, what that's going to look like, as you can see here. Let's go to schedule and maybe we'll post to Facebook and we'll post to Twitter. And let's hit post now. Great, so they were successful and if we just view on the calendar, as you can see here, your view, both on Facebook and on Twitter, the time it was published and who published it. We actually go to our Facebook profile, and refresh. You'll see the post here with both the images successfully posted by Akoya. Let's go back to the scheduler and to our post. We can also schedule the post for a later date. So maybe we'll try this time Instagram, LinkedIn. Let's hit schedule, maybe for next Tuesday in the afternoon. And hit pick this time. And now let's hit schedule. And go to our calendar for next week. And as you can see, this is now scheduled for that time that we set. If you want to reschedule it, you can move it to another time. And that will be rescheduled. Great, so that's how you can create a post with Akoya and schedule it onto all your social media platforms based on our latest update. Thanks for watching this video.